We are happy that you are here with us. We are like to introduce the high table, the meeting on the high table. Right, with my immediate left is Dr. Victor Ose. He is the director of the uh, Yari program in West Africa. Thank you, Dr. Victor Ose. Next to Dr. Ose, we have Professor Felix Duku Ose. He is a deputy rector of Jepa. Thank you, Dr. Professor. Next to Professor Duku is Mrs. Okai. She is the head of GACC. He's going to be with you for five weeks, so it's better to know you to her to know her better. Can you give up to Professor Okai? Next to Mrs. Okai is Mr. Abebio Samuel. He is the head of security game park. Thank you very much, and you are all welcome. We would like to start the program with an introduction to Yali. I want to welcome Dr. Victor Ose to give us an introduction to Yali. Please give us to Dr. Good evening. How are you all today? How are you? Good. I want to begin by saying a big welcome to all of you for making it here tonight. It's always uh, quite a, a sight and a pleasure to see so many young people, so many young Africans arrive here from eight different countries in West Africa. So once again, thank you. As you may know, we have 105 participants um, here today with us. Our hope is that in the next five weeks you're able to pick up new knowledge and that you leave here a new person different from the individual that arrived here a few days ago or maybe even today we will do our best to make this possible to we'll provide the best facilities the best facilitators and your responsibility in response to that, of course, is to make sure that you take in the material that we present. You don't need to worry about food, Mrs. Okan will do that. You don't need to worry about security, the head of security will do that. You don't need to worry even about the curriculum, because we've also done that. All you have to do is take it seriously for the next few weeks, the next five weeks, and of course apply yourself because we need you to go back and apply what you've learned here to make change, to help improve Africa. And that's all, that's all we ask you to do. Is it too much? No. no. Okay, I, I didn't hear too well. Is it too much? No, no. Oh, good, good. We will give you the tools, I promise you, in the next few days. So you be well equipped. All you need is the motivation and the will and the strength and that's why you guys went through such a rigorous selection process. I think Sefa mentioned how many applied. Was it 9,000? 9,000 plus. 9,000 plus. 9,000 plus, yeah. He probably applied twice, so he knows. <laughs> <laughs> and we have to pick only 105. So that's quite a, a difficult process to go through. You must have something. And we're hoping you use that something to help Africa. And this is the first cohort. We did one um, beginning early August, finished towards the end of September. That group comprised, I think, about 100 people. That was the first one we ever did. So everything was trial. And that's the nature of this regional leadership center. We constantly hope to improve. We will get better by continuous improvement. That's the name of our game. This is a team that I work with to make this happen. Uh, and I'll begin by mentioning uh, Mr. Joshua Ponsan, who's our M&E person. 
Stand up and introduce yourself. All the names I mentioned, if you as a participant have an issue or have a request or want to talk to somebody about Yali, you can talk to any one of these individuals. I'm sure they'll meet your request. Next, I have Sefa, uh, Mrs. Sefa Gohoho Boateng, who's already standing. Next to her, I have uh, Miss Hannah Aqua, who's right behind Sefa. Right behind Hannah is in charge of recruitment and outreach. Uh, Sefa is uh, corporate affairs. Uh, next to Sefa, since they're standing together, let me cover them before I come back. Is Francis, Miss Francis in We Are Tremating. Uh, she's been doing all the work to do with. Uh, student affairs, so really, really, if you have an issue, you don't like your room, or whatever, go to her first. And she will talk to you, says, okay, all right? Um, in addition, I have uh, quite a few people in the back, I'll mention them. We have Matthew Cornan, in charge of procurement. Uh, those of you from Ghana, and I guess other African countries know, that sort of strict procurement laws because of the nature of all of us, our leadership, right? So there's all these regulations about procurement, the processes you have to go through, and he looks after that. We also have uh, Miss Adwa Ajiman. Where is she? There. One of the things uh, you guys are not part of, and you will not be because you're here, is that we're putting together an online training program which we hope to launch in the next few weeks or maybe in a month and she's looking after that. We have uh, Mrs. Irama Benin uh, who looks after our curriculum and content. It takes a lot to put this kind of curriculum together as you guys and then we have our money man, Linus Bomaga, who's our finance manager. Uh, very soon you'll be interacting with Linus because we have to give you some per diems, and he's the person to look after that. And then we have our IT person. Uh, where's Richard? Yes. Uh, looks after everything the equipment, uh, computers, and everything to make sure all is working well for uh, the department. So now you've met uh, my team, the team I work with. Uh, we can move on and actually finish off today's festivities. So anyway, I'll come back again to finish my speech. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Abutose, for this nice introduction. Next, to talk about our stay here, we have to be feeling comfortable home away from home. And Mrs. Okai will do that for us. Let's give up to Mrs. Okai. Thank you, Mr. Welcome, which we say Aqua. So, for all our invited guests from the sub regions, we say Aqua. Well, I stand here on behalf of the director of the GCC, Dr. Mesa and Sang, and I um, want to share a few housekeeping tips with you because moving away from the comfort of your homes, coming to Kempa or Ghana, you don't stay here for us for five weeks. And that's a lot. We need to ensure that you are safe, your environment is clean, and we make sure that you are well fed. So that when you leave Gimba, one thing we want you to go away with, oh, we need the cuisine of Gimba. So, we want to share a few housekeeping tips with you whilst you are here. Just a quick one. For your guest rooms, to ensure 
that have clean, safe, and comfortable rooms where your beds are neatly laid, your washrooms cleanly done. Please drop your guest room keys at the front desk every morning. That's one first thing we want to, uh, you to note. That we only clean your guest rooms when you drop your keys. So if you hold on to your keys, we won't have access to clean your guest rooms. So please ensure that you drop your keys at the front desk every morning. And whilst you are stepping out of the facility, please ensure you drop your keys. Don't take your keys out. The last session we had, we have a few people going for a walk. They go with their keys and the keys don't come back. We wonder what happened to the keys. So anytime you step out, please drop your keys at the front desk. Another safety issue has to do with your valuables. In your guest rooms, you notice that you have a miniature safe there. However, if you have some valuables, spicy jewelry, your money, your passports, whatever, please, we have a safe deposit box in the accounts office. Contact the front desk, fill in your form, and drop your valuables with us. I can assure you our staff are faithful servants. However, we wouldn't want you to thank them. So please keep <laughs> your valuables with us in the accounts office, in the safe. Additionally, for those of you who want to exchange some money, we don't have a, um, a bureau on campus. However, once you put yourselves together, you contact the front office, we'll make arrangements for you to have a forest uh, rep to change your money for you. In connection with money, GIPA has the Unibank on campus where ATM services are available. However, if you need to contact any other banking services, contact the front desk who arrange a taxi for you to go out to do your transactions. Just on five, ten minutes, right? We have other funds around. Laundry services. We have an in-house laundry. We'll do your laundry for you. Same day laundry services at a discounted price. So please, once you are in there, check your wardrobe. If you have any laundry to be done, fill the form and call the front desk, we'll have it handled for you safely. In case of any emergency, we are not praying for any doom. However, it's important that we take note of this. For emergency purposes, we have a, a form, the four courts of the facility, that's the parking lot, that's our assembly point. So if there's anything, security will emphasize on it. Ah, Assembly points is the focus of the Jesus. Now, onto your meals. We know large crowds like this, you have few people with some dietary needs. Please let us know specifically what your dietary requirements are. Once you inform us, contact the front desk and if I say to take note of that. Let us know specifically salt free, pepper free, onion free, whatever. Please let us know. Then we'll take good care of you. Still on meals. Please. Our policy at the GECC is that we do not allow food into the guest rooms. We will play with you. Please. Make sure you eat all your meals in the restaurants. Can you imagine all of you here if we have to be sending food into the rooms? In less than two weeks, we have roaches jumping up. You are the very people who will come back to us and say there are roaches in the rooms. So please, to avoid roaches and ants, don't let us take food into the guest rooms. We are here with a team of um, front desk staff, accommodation staff, what we call basically housekeeping, and we will make sure that together with the FMB staff, we make your stay here quite peaceful and restful. So enjoy your stay with Jesus.
Thank you, Mrs. Kogai. Now that we are safe here at GACC, we have to see how the campus look like. And so we're going to see a video. So we want to be here for a few sessions for the project to the government of Ghana and the United Nations to develop the public administrative system, resulted in the creation of what we know today as Ghana Institute of Management and Public Administration, GIPA. Then, our mandate was to train civil servants with professional competence to plan and administer national, regional, and local services. More than 50 years later, GIPA has transformed itself into a leading management development institute in Africa. We have emerged as an internationally renowned and respected institute with a strong reputation as a center of excellence in teaching, learning, and management development. We have experienced faculty with international connections, motivated students, and supportive administrative staff. GIPA has positioned itself as an innovative, self financed institution with repeatable academic programs in leadership and governance, business, technology, and law. The key to GIPA's success over the years has been a consistency of purpose, primarily in the area of delivering high quality programs. As a foremost mandate development institute, we focus on particularly the typical development of the public sector. In addition, with our current strengths in the business school, in the law faculty, and the school of technology, we are at the forefront of management and legal education in Ghana. And then, uh, we believe that in order to provide a high quality education, we need to pay attention to a number of things. One is a very well qualified faculty, two excellent facilities, and three, a quality assurance system that ensures that whatever you're doing is excellent. Jim Park currently has four schools business, governance, and public services, law, and technology. The Kimber Business School is a flagship program and running more than two thirds of the total Kimber student body. From its establishment in 1987 as Green Hill College, the school now offers 11 undergraduate degree specializations, five postgraduate certificates and diplomas, and over 10 master's programs. And the school was the first Ghana member of the Association of African Business Schools. Business School is voted uh, the best uh, in Africa, and we continue to maintain the best standards. Uh, we want to be among the best in the world. We pride ourselves in training the best minds in the industry and are providing them with the tools to be very active members of the national business community. We have brought together the largest collection of PhDs in business in the country. I and mean, this is a proud of none of the schools in Ghana. Um, and indeed, in West Africa, can compare with us on that front. Um, our reach into the broader community of business uh, is also very useful as we are able then to create links of value to both the institute and the nation as a whole. The School of Public Service and Governance and Key Academic Sector at Gimba is the outcome of the 2013 merger of the former Public Services School and the School of Governance and Leadership. The school's mission is to offer practical governance and leadership programs that prepare students for high impact roles as public leaders and managers. The synergies created by the merger of the two schools School of Leadership and Governance and uh, Public Services School has created new energies. We offer these services through collaboration with key partners, including the Ghana Public Service through its main agency, the Office of the Head of the Civil Service, as well as with high-level partnerships with schools like uh, the Corps National Administration, which is based in France, as well as one new partnership with the University of California. All these efforts are geared towards providing a world-class public service training service for the Ghana Public Service. Next on the program, we are going to hear about security. And we're inviting the head of the security to come and talk to us about what we have to do and what we have to know about GEMPA security. Good evening to you once more. My name is Ababiu Samuel, as he has already introduced me. 
I'm the head of security for the camp on campus. The Game Pass security is made up of two elements, an in-house security and a hide security, a private security. The private security is Southwest International Security. You can identify them in their uniform. They wear white over ash trousers, while the in-house security wears green over green, olive green. The Southwest also have a task force who wears blue over blue, they sometimes come around. So if you see any of the uniform I've described around, they are part of the security on campus. Entry points to Gimpa. We have three main entry points to the institute. The main one which drives from the Legon Achmota Road right down to campus. There is a second gate which is normally open at 3 o'clock for the undergraduate programs, which normally starts at uh, 5 o'clock. We open it by 3 for them to assess it. And the last one, which is a restricted gate, is behind this hostel. That gate is restricted to staff only. Even persons are not allowed, not even staff, to walk through that gate. So if you have to go out if you want to jog, you go downstream, you can go as far as to Kiseman and come back. The reason why we receive passing here is that the road is not all that secured because there's a forest around it and there, there is no building. You have to travel a long distance before you go to Jowlu. So in between, anything at all can happen. That is why we normally restrict people from walking across that road so that they may use that place. Boarding of vehicles. If anybody wants to go to town and he need a taxi, please contact the front desk so that they can arrange a safe driver to take you to town and back safely. Please never try to join any Thesis that comes around without the knowledge of the front desk. If you want to go to town, you go to the front desk. They will arrange for you to get a safe taxi to take you to town and back. Use of ID card or name tags. If you are issued with ID card or name tags, please, you must wear them so that we can identify you from other people who comes around so that we can take care of you. People normally come around here. There are other guests and uh, other programs running, especially at the lobby, so that when you are around the area, please be very careful. You have to be very careful leaving your things behind, especially your valuables, laptops, and phones. If you are at the lobby with other people, your other colleagues, and Excuse me, you want to visit the washroom. Please let somebody take care of your item for you. Take care of the items of your neighbors so that they come back to meet their items. Because people come around and if you don't take time, anybody at all can pick your laptop. We don't want anybody to lose his information or on his laptop or whatever information he has. If you have any security issue, please contact the front desk so that they can contact the security office on extension 2060. If you have telephone in your room, you can dial it to the security office, which is extension 2060, or please just relay through the front desk for any help that you may need. I think that is all I have for you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Samuel Abbeview, for making it short. Now we're going to hear about internet. Let's welcome Nana Opoku Ose Saha. Thank you, sir, uh, Mr. MC. Um, good evening once again. Mr. Deputy, Dr. Say, all protocol observed. Um, the name is Nanopoko Sestraha. I 
I'm the deputy IT manager and uh, I'm stepping in the big shoes of my boss who isn't here this evening. Um, I wish to inform you that your five weeks stay here are going to be pretty enjoyable. We have a dedicated internet service to this building from our main campus. Uh, having said that, we are reliably informed by the hardworking Yali team that your sessions are going to be held in this main hall and three other halls, um, A201, A255, and then A238. Um, we must inform you at this point that there's going to be wireless connection in these areas. That is the three syndicate rooms I've mentioned and this main hall dedicated. But there is something small we need to know. You are going to be using a username and a password to log on. It's not just like you double click on your browser and you are through, no. Um, the password and the username, we have them. Your coordinators also have them and the front decks also have them. So having said that, we are going to also have through the five weeks stay here, a dedicated two person, sorry, two dedicated persons sort of attending to all your IT needs. All your IT needs, not just the use of internet, but should you have any other need, you can always talk to these people and there is a back office always willing to assist. Having said that, I said I think I want to thank you and once again welcome you. Thank you very much for this information. We are getting to the end of the program and entering to the main other the other main issue here to enjoy yourself and then network now. Let's call on Dr. Victor Seth to give us the concluding remarks. Thank you, Oxford. Um, I hope we covered most of the things you're likely to have questions about affecting your stay here. As we go on, obviously, there will be more questions, and you're welcome to ask those. You guys are leaders. You're supposed to take things up and run with it. You're supposed to make things happen, right? Leaders don't sit back for things to happen to them. Leaders actually shape things. So as you're here, start practicing those things. It should not just be textbook, but, but, do not be rude to anyone, right? We want to empower you guys to be leaders. I'm not empowering anybody to be rude to anyone. There's a way to ask difficult questions. We'll try and teach you that as well. Okay? All right. I stood up here and talked big. You know, I talked about we're going to give you this knowledge and all of that. I alone cannot do that. We have to have other people working with us to make that happen. And those individuals, we call them facilitators. They teach. They have knowledge that they're going to share with you guys. And some of them are here, so I'm going to just uh, briefly mention them. If I omit anyone, please forgive me. Um, I'll begin with our own uh, deputy rector, who's going to be teaching you as well. On the <laughs> and then we'll have uh, Dr. Isaac Riafe. Should I tell them what you're going to be teaching? Or should I teach them what you're going to be teaching? So we can end it here tonight. <laughs> uh, he's going to be talking to you about technology and Africa and why we haven't really been able to pick up. Hopefully this will motivate you, especially the entrepreneurs in a group, to be able to go out and think. We have so many challenges, so many problems. What can you guys use IT to solve? This is where the world is going today. So that's a very, very important course. 
and I'm very happy to have him here. We also have Dr. Tina Edusakar Kakare. She'll be teaching you about gender and diversity, which Africans don't need, right? <laughs> yes, we do. And then we also have Dr. Gifty Oforiwa Jamara, who also teaches that. And in the back, if I can see properly, even with my glasses, Mr. Osei. I saved one of the ones I'm going to be teaching with for last. And uh, it's Dr. Betty Nano. Where is she, is she here? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Dr. Nano and I will be, I'm not supposed to do this, but I want to do it. So I'm going to be teaching a bit of leadership with her. Right? Yeah. Is there anybody else I forgot to mention who's going to facilitate here? Covered everyone? Good. So that marks the end of my speech. Uh, again, welcome to Ghana. We're going to make your five weeks stay here very, very purposeful, right? I'll just tell you a bit what happened the last time we had people here. After roughly about the two week mark, some people begin to feel homesick and it's normal. It's natural. I'm telling you that before you get to that stage, right? But I remember talking to her and all that and convinced her to stick with it. And in the end, she was very thankful to me, right? So if you guys hit that point, talk to Oxford. <laughs> all right? So the, you're gonna go through emotions and whatnot. You learn new things, you're away from home, but bear with it. I think this is very important for yourselves, for your communities, your countries, and of course, for Africa. So once again, thank you very much. And we're eager to start this journey of leadership discovery with each and every one of you. So thank you. Let's put our hands together big time for all these participants. Thank you, Dr. Victor Osei. Thank you, Professor Duku Osei. Thank you, Mrs. Okain. Thank you, Nana Opoku Osei. So I have to be careful so that I don't miss it. Thank you, Head of the Security, Mr. Abibio Samuel. And thank you all participants for coming. And the Yali team, of course, thank you very much. Can you all give ourselves to I want? <laughs> and it's true, initially for the first week, you might feel like you want to go back home. But then you have to enjoy every single thing here. The uh, excursion, the other social activities that we'll be having here. Because I know for sure when you go back home, you wish to come back. Past participants want to come back to Yali. They have been saying that, can we apply again? So don't, don't miss the show and go back to say you want to apply again. This is your last chance. Thank you very much. We are now going to enjoy ourselves. And for your stay to be enjoyable, you have to start partnering your, uh, here. You have to start a network and you have to start talking to people. Don't talk to people from Gambia alone. Don't talk to librarians alone. You can even talk to me. So start now. And I know we're going to have music and we're going to have food. And the food is rightly outside the balcony. But then we have to have a high table, walk out there, pick their food, and then we start from this table. So I have to make sure that you have what you want. So can we wait for the high table to go for their food? Enjoy your step. Thank you very much.